there are three equations of motion v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square and v square is u square plus 2as in this we have already studied that u stand for initial velocity v stand for final velocity s stand for displacement t is for time a is for acceleration the relation between all these quantities is given by these three equations of motion and we are going to derive these equations of motion now okay so let's start with the first one now for the first equation what i am going to write over here is the definition of acceleration so acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity which can be mathematically expressed as following change in velocity upon time now this change in velocity is also written as final velocity minus initial velocity upon time okay so i will write this as a equal to v minus u over t i transfer that t on the other side so i get at is v minus u if i transfer that u on the other side i'll get v so therefore v equal to u plus at is the first equation okay so this is how we get the first equation now we move to the second one now distance traveled is equal to average velocity into time okay so this is a uh, distance traveled now there is another formula for average velocity something that we have not used so far that is final velocity plus initial velocity upon 2 upon 2 okay <laughs> and this is into time now how do i write this in, uh, the distance traveled is denoted by letter s so i will write s as v plus u upon 2 into t now in the previous working we have derived this equation v is equal to u plus at now in place of v i will substitute u plus at plus u upon 2 into t so in place of this v i have substituted u plus at so i get 2u plus at upon 2 into t now when that t is taken inside we get 2ut plus at squared over 2 so 2 ut upon 2 plus at squared upon 2 this get cancelled s is equal to ut plus half at squared so this is the second equation to derive the third equation i rewrite the same thing what we have done for the second one so that is distance traveled is average velocity into time and s is equal to the average velocity formula is final velocity plus initial velocity upon 2 so again i write it mathematically as v plus u upon 2 into t i will take the help of the first derivation one more time so what we have over here is a equal to v minus u upon t so therefore i can write t as v minus u over a so we have interchange those places so t goes up and a comes down that has to be substituted over here now so what do we get we get s equal to v plus u v plus u upon 2 into v minus u upon a v minus u upon a now this looks like a math formula what formula is that a plus b into a minus b is a squared minus b squared so let us write down that s is equal to v squared minus u squared upon 2a i transfer 2a on the other side you get 2as as v squared minus u squared this also is taken on the other side 
you will have u squared plus 2as as v squared. So we get v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as. And this is the third equation.